Hello everyone, we will continue the topic loop statements and now we will discuss the loop statement check. Word itself is saying what is the purpose of check statement. If check is not true, it will skip the current processing of the record, move on to next processing of the record. Again, check is not true. It will skip the current processing of the record and jump on to next processing of the record. It means it will only only consider those records where check is true. If the check is not true, it will skip the current record, move to ne next record. Then again, it will check. Then again, it will check. Then again, it will check. So now we will see the practical part of check, how we can apply check inside a loop. So I'll just go for writing the logic. I will write another logic. Suppose I'm writing do tab. It's automatically coming. Suppose I'm writing do 10 times. I'm writing lv underscore input is equal to lv underscore input plus one. We are increasing the counter. Now I'm writing a check statement. Check. Check is a keyword itself. I used tab to put on the editor. Check lv underscore input is equal to suppose I'm saying 50. I'm ending the statement using dot. Now I will write, write the output is and I will write LV underscore input. I ended the statement and I saved the program. I'm applying pretty printer so that proper indentation of the code happened. I will comment the other parts. You all know if you want to comment multiple lines, you can select multiple lines, control plus comma. So now every logic is commented. Only this is the logic which is available. We will save check the syntax and activate. Now we will see how our check will work and we will see in the debugging mode so that the statement will make more and more sense to you. I'll put a breakpoint. I'm executing the program. F8 is the shortcut. Desktop 3, most preferable desktop. Now we will do line by line execution using F6. I double clicked on the variable, currently value is 10. I'm doing F6. Now I'm inside the loop, I'm on 12th number line. 10 plus one, 11. Now LV input is 11. Now we have a check statement. It will check. Is 11 is equal to 15? No, 11 is not equal to 15. It means it will skip the current processing of the record and the control will go to next processing. Just see, whenever check will execute, it will move, it will again go to the do statement. Now you can see, we again move on to the do loop. Now again, F6. Is 12 is equal to 15 now? No. Again, the control will again return to the loop. I'm again do F6. Again doing F6. 12 plus 1, 13. Is 13 is equal to 15? No. So check again failed. So now again control went to this particular do loop. Now 13 plus 1, 14. Again, it is checking. So it is will skip the current iteration. Now again, moved on to the next iteration of the loop. Is 15 is equal to 15? Yes. Now the check is true. 
now the check is true now it is just printing the result now it will print 15 now six iteration of the loop now you can see 15 plus 1 16 is 16 is equal to 15 no so it will again skip the iteration of the loop and jump on to next iteration now again next iteration now again next iteration now again next iteration so now again next iteration now do loop execute it 10 times yes do loop execute it 10 times and you can see we have this is the only only output because based upon the check statement only one time 15 become equal to 15 lv input become 15 so only we are getting a single single result in the output so what is the meaning of check statement if check is not true if your check is not true it will skip that iteration jump to next iteration it will if the check is not true it will skip that iteration go for next iteration if check is true yes it will go for execution of further lines of the code so what we started in these two videos we discussed the topic loop statements widely used statements now you can use these statements in any kind of loop never never consider that these are the statements only for one kind of loop you can apply in do loop while loop loop at internal table exit you can exit from the loop continue with the help of continue you can skip the current processing of the record and continue with the next processing of the record if you now check condition if your check is not true it will skip that particular iteration and it will go for next iteration it will check if it is not true it will go for next iteration next iteration so that's it in this particular video thank you